Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I have been dying to try my rose concept again. And in case you missed that video where I first did this, I will uh, link it down in the description or maybe the comments. But um, I'm going to try a combo technique here. And I'm going for a very specific look. So um, one of the things I did wrong on the last one was using too much red and not enough green. So I'm gonna really tone down the red this time. I'm also using less of the red colors. So, and I'm using more contrasting colors. So that's a couple of the things that I'm changing in this version. And then I'm gonna use more green and I'm gonna use darker green. I think that's plenty on the reds and I'm gonna reuse my cup from the greens. I still have a little bit of paint in there. So this is Everglade green that I'm adding into there. And I like the contrast with the electric lime. And I am gonna do some more gold in here as well. An emerald and then some meadow green. And I'm gonna layer those a bit. And this should be plenty of paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottle bottom again. And this time we'll have a lot more green in here. I'm even gonna add just a tiny bit more and I'm gonna do this in my cup, I want just strictly the darker in here. All right, now one of the things I am gonna change on this one is I'm going to go ahead and wreck this before I pour the red. And then here we go. I'm doing a traveling kiss pour in here. I think that should be plenty. Now, once I get this down with a single rose, I am gonna try this with multiple roses, I think. Might have to do it a little bit different, but I wanted to get this down first. So we spin it out. And this is on a cake spinner. I've got it held on there with double-sided sticky tape. And then I do have a, a plastic shower cap on top of the spinner to keep it clean. So that is perfection. This is what I was going for yesterday. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cover the sides a little bit here and give it a couple light spins. I don't wanna spread it out too much more, but I do wanna get this background covered. Maybe even pour a little bit more green out here. Okay, here we go. Awesome. I think that is literally perfect. And I love, look at all these, like the ribbons on the outside of the rose. It is so perfect. So I'm gonna try this again, at least one more time, where I'm gonna use multiple little um, kiss pours in the middle there to get several roses. And obviously I'll have to use a lot less paint on the red but someone asked me why I did this instead of a tree ring. It actually gives a very different look. And so this kiss port gives more of the look that I'm going for. A tree ring would be a little too perfect. I guess I could possibly do a traveling tree ring, but I think this is the look I'm going for. So let's go ahead and do a close up. So this is just so much better in every way. 
from the green on the outside, which on the last one was just too bright. So here we have a lot more contrast and depth, dark colors in there. And then of course the rose, several things. One, it didn't take over the whole thing. And two, it's got a lot better contrast, which I think using less colors really, really helped with that. Could still even work on the contrast a little bit. I think it could have even more Merlot in there, maybe a little bit more white, but I think overall it is pretty darn perfect. So I am so, so, so happy with this. And I love that I um, was able to get the picture that I had in my head. And it's even better than the picture I had in my head, to be honest. So, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and stay tuned. I will probably be trying it at least one more time, like I said, with multiple roses. Um, but let me know what you guys think and I'll see you all next time.